On Christmas Eve, December 24, 2025, the winter tranquility of the island of Sicily was disturbed by rumblings from the depths of Mount Etna. Europe's most active volcano once again displayed its power, this time from one of its prominent craters on the northeastern flank, which had lain dormant for almost 30 years. This awakening was a significant event, not only for residents but also for the international scientific community. For several weeks, researchers had been observing subtle changes in Etna's activity. Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, reported a gradual increase in seismic signals around the volcano. Small vibrations recorded by seismographs were early indications that the subsurface magma system was beginning to become more active. One of the leading indicators observed was volcanic tremor. Unlike brief earthquakes, tremors are sustained vibrations typically associated with the movement of magma and gas within a volcanic vent. As Christmas Eve approached, the tremors increased in amplitude and persisted for extended periods, indicating a continued supply of magma. Concurrently, instruments monitoring ground deformation recorded changes in the shape of the volcano's surface. High-precision GPS sensors detected a slight bulge in the summit area, indicating pressure from upward-moving magma. Although this shift was only a few millimeters, it was significant for volcanologists. Infrasonic activity also spiked. These low-frequency sound waves are inaudible to humans, but they often occur when hot gas and material move rapidly within the crater. The peak infrasonic signal on December 24 reinforced the conclusion that Etna's volcanic system was entering an active phase. Shortly after these indicators reached their peak, the northeast crater began spewing incandescent material. The ejection of lava and hot fragments marked the end of the crater's long dormancy. The reddish glow was clearly visible in the night sky, contrasting with the surrounding Christmas atmosphere. Over the next few days, activity spread to other summit craters, including Bocca Nuova and Voragine. All three emitted moderate amounts of volcanic ash, accompanied by intense but sporadic Strombolian eruptions. This type of eruption is characterized by intermittent lava outbursts caused by the release of gases from the magma. Ashfall was recorded in several areas, such as Piano Provenzana and Taormina. Meanwhile, ash columns rose to about 5 miles above sea level, high enough to trigger aviation alerts. While the impact was limited, this activity demonstrated how quickly conditions around Etna can change. One of the most striking phenomena came from the northeast crater, which ejected coarse pyroclastic material hundreds of feet into the air. This material spread across the crater cone and extended beyond its base. Furthermore, continuous lava fountains emerged, rising tens of meters and indicating stable magma pressure. On the other hand, the Voragine crater produced a lava flow that moved eastward. This flow extended for more than a mile, providing scientists with an opportunity to study lava dynamics and its interaction with the surrounding topography. This phenomenon is crucial for understanding how lava spreads and potentially impacts surrounding areas. Mount Etna itself is a geological giant that is constantly changing. Its height is not fixed, as significant eruptions can alter the morphology of the summit. Currently, Etna rises about 10, 900 feet above sea level, making it more than two and a half times the height of Mount Vesuvius. Despite its reputation for ferocity, Etna is also a popular tourist destination. Its snow-covered slopes, often home to two ski resorts, 
present a unique contrast between volcanic activity and human life. This situation requires close monitoring to ensure the safety of visitors and residents. Geologically, Etna became active around 2.6 million years ago, at the end of the Neogene period, a time of significant tectonic changes. In ancient Greek culture, its activity was explained through myths, such as the Forge of Hephaestus, the god of fire and blacksmithing, or the movements of giants buried beneath the mountain. The name Etna itself is thought to derive from the Greek word itho, meaning I burn, The year 2025 has been a crucial period for the study of Mount Etna. Since February, three distinct eruptive phases have been recorded, each with varying styles of activity. One of these, a significant eruption in June, disrupted air traffic and tourism, highlighting the far-reaching impact of this volcano's dynamics. The events of Christmas Eve underscore the crucial role of science and modern monitoring technology. With seismographs, deformation sensors, infrasonic instruments, and satellite observations, scientists can understand ongoing processes and provide early warnings. Amid the natural beauty of Sicily, Mount Etna's rumblings serve as a reminder that vigilance and scientific knowledge are key to coexisting with the forces of nature.